My name is Anami Voljoen. I grew up in a home where we knew Jesus. My grandma made sure that all 21 of her grandchildren, then now there's 23, got to know Jesus. And I gave my heart to Jesus when I was in grade one. Through my life, I have always uh, been reading my Bible. I've been praying about things that matters to me. I have been attending youth and later in my life I always attended a Bible study group. A few years ago when my children were young and I was a working mom, I realized that it was much more important for me to spend time in my home and in my yard that needed attention. I got much more satisfaction out of that than spending time in God's Word. A few years ago, a friend of mine invited me to a women's retreat. Now, the promise of being away from the busyness of home and having all my meals prepared made me say yes. Little did I know that the Lord had bigger plans for me. The theme on this retreat was all about being a Mary rather than a Martha. Now, I spend my whole life being a good Martha. I never sat at Jesus' feet. When I came back, I started um, attending the Women's Morning Group here at Southridge, and a whole new world opened for me. I have grown spiritually so much. I have learned to dig into the Word. I have learned to start my day each day with the Lord. Uh, Psalm 143 verse 8 became a part of my life. Let this morning bring me word of your unf unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for unto you I entrust my life. I have learned that God's word is living and active, and it is a light for my path and a lamp unto my feet. I've also learned that the Word of God is the sword. And this sword is not used to defend ourselves, but this sword is used to attack. The day that the Lord revealed to me that it is time now, um, I said to Him, but how am I going? What am I going to say? How am I going to do this? And He gave every single word of what I had to say. He gave that to me, and as I got it, I wrote it down and savored it till the day, till the day. Life's not always smooth, and um, a life verse uh, that really means a lot to me is Philippians 4, verse 6 to 9. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. I have grown spiritually so much. God has even called me into the women's ministry here at Southridge. And this is the next step for me to be baptized as a follower of Jesus Christ. Have you made Jesus Christ the Savior and Lord of your life? Absolutely. And is it your desire today to get baptized? Yes. Well, let's not hold up. Let's move you over here. There we go. Enemy, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.